Hey guys, trial. Uh, I'm back. No, you missed me. All right. Uh, so I was looking for stuff to talk about today, and it's a lot harder than I thought. I mean, maybe I should like prepare instead of sitting down and looking up what to talk about on a YouTube video on Google. Eh, it's probably the best thing. So I'm gonna prepare sooner or later. I'm procrastinating and. Oh well. Here you can see it's like. Whoosh, whoosh. Well, let's get started. 25 most bizarre jobs by twospare.com. Number one, fantasy broker. Say you're a businessman. You want to drive a freight train across the western state. A western state. You can do it with this guy. He makes dreams come true. He can charge from 150 to thousands to turn dreams into reality. That's kind of cool. Oh, some guy, a uh, psychiatrist, wants 20 dates on 20 weekends with 20 girls from 20 different countries. It's a needy psychiatrist. How do they... Oh, my gosh. So fantasy brokers are like God. I mean, they just make stuff happen. That's great. I like that guy. If you ever meet a fantasy broker, make sure you're his fantasy or her fantasy because they're going to make you a fantasy life. Number two, ball picker. Picks up unclaimed baseballs, golf balls, and the like to keep recreation areas clean. So these are the guys that go out after you play 18 holes and they pick up all of your balls. Not all of them, because, you know, you can always find a free ball. There's always a free ball out there for you. And baseballs, golf balls, I guess they pick up basketballs, maybe? Well, but I guess someone's paid. They can't just go out and pick up their own balls. They're all dropping too many balls. Ant catcher, number three. Digs up live ants for use in plastic ant farms. You know, I always thought how they got those. Because I had, I almost had an ant farm when I was in like fourth grade. But all the ants were dead when they came in the mail. So I never really had an ant farm, but I almost did. That counts for something, right? Do they use a vacuum, do you think? They use their hand, they just stick their hand in there and they just go, Here are the ants! Take them! Roar! I don't know. Well, I guess somebody has to do it. Number four, brain picker. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Um, places an animal head on a table or on hooks in a slaughterhouse, splits the skull and picks out the brains. Talk about a job you don't really want to do. Like, damn, that's gory. I mean, I've seen some stuff, but picking brain out of animals. Okay, next one. This one's a little bit more fun. Forest fire to look out. Seems really boring, though. Um, it's for solitary types. <laughs> no poop. So they look for warning signs of a fire. Service wage level is starting around 6,000. I'm not sure if that's like 6,000 a month, 6,000 a year, 6,000 an hour. I doubt it's an hour, but crazy people are crazy. You could get paid to watch the forest. Furniture testing. <laughs> this one looks like something I can do. Want to relax for a living? The Lazy Boy Company and others employ furniture testers to check out their recliners. You could be professional Lazy Boy. A professional. Odor judges. They smell armpits that have deodorant on them. Don't get too grossed out. So they make sure they work them well. So you got that guy from Old Spice, the big black man, he's going to be smelling everyone's armpits and being like, yeah, that's a man. So I'm sure that's his job. He just says, yeah, it's a man. That's my best black man voice. I'm not black. Queen producer. Wow. Don't they just call those guys princesses people? It, oh, it raises queen bees. That's not a person. That's a bee. I don't even know what to say. I mean, uh, uh, I've heard of bee raisers, but that's kind of... I don't know how you raise a queen bee. They're a little bit PMS-y. You know, they'll... I just can't deal with queen bees. Finder. Um, number eight-ish. He makes a, f a living finding unusual things for people, like a pair of fleas dressed as bride and groom. A baseball signed by Jim Thorpe in 1933, and a client's missing brother. Finders Keepers Incorporated. That's a catchy name. 
They locate in the rare and unusual with uncanny facility. And now he's looking for an electric clock motor that runs backward. Talk about an unproductive clock. Egg breaker. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but let's go through it. Because breaking eggs is fun. It separates yolks and thites of eggs for use in food products by striking eggs against a bar. Pour contents into an egg separating device. So they take the yolk and the white and they separate them. And that's their job. That seems pretty, like... You ever make eggs and then get some of the stuff on you? That's horrible. Who wants to do that? Huh? Well, I guess you get paid. Hooker and... Sp <laughs> Hooker inspector. It's not what you think. Wow. <laughs> Inspects cloth in a textile mill for defects using a hooking machine that folds the cloth. You can tell your bros at the bar that you're a hooker inspector and be completely telling the truth to just tell them you check out hookers all day. Foot straightener. This one's interesting. Straightens and screws into place the feet on watch and clock dials during assembly. The feet on watch. What? Watch and clock dials have feet. Someone tell me what that what that is, please. Comment down there. This one's fun. I laugh at I'm I'm a kid. Chicken sexer. Sex. Um, sorts chickens to determine if they are male or female. I don't want to know how they check. They must see a lot of little chicken penises. Penis. And then segregate them. The chicken sexer puts the chicken hatchlings on the appropriate track early, enabling those chickens to receive optimal new 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 nourish nourishment nur nur nourish nourishment 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 okay for their likely commercial role from an early age wrinkle chaser oh my gosh Oh, I'm gonna chase my wrinkles. I can't even run as fast as them. So oh, quick! All right, this person that irons wrinkles from shoes. I didn't know wrinkles could shoe. I didn't know shoes could wrinkle. May it ensure they're perfectly smooth when you buy them. That's why they aren't wrinkly. Have you ever wondered why they're never wrinkly? Cause you got wrinkle chasers unwrinkling your wrinkly ass. But shoes don't know how to bleep stuff out yet. Anyway, you got a wrinkle chaser working for you, and me, and all y'all. Alright, that's cool. My shoes ain't wrinkly, because they're wrinkle chasers. <laughs> oh, this next one is funny. Boner. Inserts stays. Inserts bones or steels into prepared pockets of women's foundation garments such as corset and brassieres. I know how a corset works. I don't know what a boner steel is. <laughs> These have such weird names, my gosh. Cow puncher. That's like cow tipping taken to the douchebaggery level. Like you just punch it in the face. Bam! And then walk away. If its bull doesn't chase you. Cow punchers herd, castrate, and brand cattle. So these guys are that teacher you don't like, that professor you don't like, that kid nobody likes. It's just that guy. But he's just doing his job, so I'm sure the cows only kick him once a day. Maybe twice. Three, four, ten. Why not? I mean, just kick him. Just keep kicking him. Um, when you get bored castrating cattle, you get to repair fences, watering troughs, and do other maintenance work on the ranch. When you get bored castrating cats, cattle, that sentence, I never thought I would hear. Who gets bored castrating cattle? You get to chop the balls off. Card dealer. This one isn't weird. Why is this on here? A card dealer, like at Reno's. Is that a place? Atlantic City? They deal cards. Um, We're on like 17 maybe? Top screw. As opposed to being a bottom, this guy is the top. Supervises cowboys and... <laughs> They are called screws, and they supervise the cowboys. They all have a screw loose, so I guess it works out. Weed farmer, not what you think, once again. 
grows weeds for sale to universities and commercial companies to be used in herbicide research. This one is going to be tricky. Celluloid. 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 Cell Celluloid. Celluloid. Trimmer. A celluloid. Trimmer. Shaves down a golf club and then adds celluloid. Bands to the golf clubs to make the leather grip stay in place. I never heard of that one. Chimney, chimney sweep. This guy, they have a great picture of this guy. I mean, this guy just looks like a solid dude. Hope you can see it. Where is he? There he is. Look at that guy. Anyway, we're back to here. Look, that was a POV again. Don't you enjoy it? I enjoy it. I know I enjoy it. Alright. Um, so chimney sweep. You know what they do. They sweep your, your mother's chimney. Upsetter. Hey, we're at number 21. It's a great number. Rock out. An upsetter sets up and operates a closed die foraging machine that expands the ends of hot metal bars. So, uh, wow. Yeah, I don't even... Okay, another one with eggs. Egg smeller smells eggs after they are broken open to check for spoilage. Does that mean they, they check them at the grocery store or before they get to the grocery store? They just smell eggs all day. They're an egg sucker. Eh, sucker. Mm. Anyway. Pillowcase turner. Oh my gosh. Never hear about the cold side of the pillowcase. If I had a butler, I'd be like, yo, dude, turn my pillowcase. <laughs> no, that would just be mean. Turns pillowcases right side out and stretches material. Another wrinkle remover. There are two people working for us that remove w w wrinkles where we never thought were possible. Well, I mean, pillowcases are... But you don't care if your pillowcase is wrinkly. You don't care if your pillowcase is wrinkly. You just don't. 25. This one's very convenient. I think we just had Easter Sunday. Or Easter Sunday's coming up. I think we had Good, good Friday, Good Monday, Bad Saturday morning. Good Friday was too good. Easter Bunny. Impersonates the Easter Bunny as if the Easter Bunny is real. I'm sorry to crush your hearts like that, but it impersonates an Easter Bunny uh, to promote sales activity in retail stores, at conventions, and exhibits, hospitals, and private parties. That's a pretty sweet job. Just hop around all day. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, pop, 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 hop, hop, pop, 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 pop. Well, that was 25. I hope that was amusing and whatnot. Oh, this was made in 414 2006. It's 2013. Whatever. You know, I'm still people still have those jobs. Can't have wrinkles in your shoes. All right. So, here's a good question of the day. If you could hire a fantasy broker to make to just do anything for you. He'll make anything happen. What would you make you what would you pay him to do and how much would you be willing to pay it this is assuming you have obnoxious money all right i mean if you had just say a billion well everyone starts out with a billion kind of like monopoly all right if you had a billion dollars how much would you pay for a fantasy broker to do what for you he can make you do he can do anything he'll make anything happen okay he's that kind of guy peace out Bye, guys.